bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Ellie Pai Hong and this is Comcast Newsmakers coming to you from the state capitol in Springfield. This hour's newsmaker is Carol Pankaw, state senator for the 22nd district. Today we will be talking about Medicaid reform. Senator, great to have you here. Thank you, thank you. Obviously the state budget is the biggest issue facing state legislators Absolutely. today. And Medicare makes a big, huge chunk of that. Absolutely. This year alone, the current budget, not even the one we're going to be talking about in the spring session, but right now we are spending more on Medicaid than we are on elementary and secondary education combined. That's a huge combined. figure. It is the largest single line item in the state budget. But Medicaid provides insurance for those who are need-based, who really need the coverage. And it's a good program. And it's a uh, what they called a, a recapture program. So traditionally, about half of the expense is borne by the state of Illinois, and half of it is borne by the federal government. But what has happened in Illinois is that we have allowed this program to just go on its merry way without doing any checks, without doing any balances, without really managing the money. And it has grown exponentially. So what we have to do this next session is we have to really take a hold of this program. I'm not talking about kicking people off the program or anything like that. I'm saying we have to verify certain things. We need income verification. You know, from one year to the other, people's economic situation changes. You may have not had a job one year, maybe you've got a part-time job the next year. So you're gonna have to verify the income. You should do asset tests. In other words, uh, maybe somebody has two homes and three cars and all that sort of stuff but had a very bad year one year and qualified for the program. That doesn't necessarily mean that they qualify the next year. So all these things and then manage the care. You know, there isn't one insurance company out there today that doesn't manage the amount of premium that they, not only people have to pay, but that they pay out to the hospitals, doc, doctors, pharmacists, nursing homes, the people that they provide services for. We don't do that with the Medicaid program. Whatever we get billed, we have to pay. And why, why has it been so mismanaged in that respect? Uh, because we have never attempted to manage the costs of this program. We just kind of let it go. And now it has literally, it is literally the 600 pound gorilla in our state budget. And it's time, with the huge debt that we have, it's time we look into that from top to bottom. Because you say if this is not tackled now, I know currently what is spent on this is more than elementary and secondary education. The following year, right. that will include higher education. Yes, yes, two more years, now, uh, the next budget and the one. If we don't do something to manage this money better, we will be spending more than elementary and secondary and higher education combined. Combined. And considering the current economic situation that the state is in, this is crucial. It's crucial to get it done. Absolutely. How much money will it save in the long run? What our experts tell us is that we could look at at least a billion dollars a year in savings. Wow. Not on the existing money, but in the increases that are going to come. And if we stop and manage those increases, then we will be saving money down the road. Medicare reform sounds like such a big issue to tackle, such a complicated issue to tackle. From what you're saying, it needs to get done right now, though. Absolutely. And I truly believe it will. As I said, it is the largest factor in our state budget. It's time. We need to tackle it this year, Hopefully, and we will. Next time we see you, we'll be talking about that. Thank you so much, Senator. Thank you, Ellie. This hour's newsmaker has been State Senator Carol Pankaw. I'm Ellie Pai Hong. Thank you so much for joining us. For more information on Comcast Newsmakers, head online to newsmakers.tv. We'll see you next time. The preceding was a presentation of Comcast Newsmakers. Now, back to headline news.